is a very good vaccine. This, the uh, FDA and the CDC um, have looked at the now seven cases of identified um, venous thrombosis associated with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, um, feel very comfortable and very strong that actually the risk for those same individuals, had they gotten COVID, were, were, was eight to 10 times more likely that they would have those thrombotic complications with the, vex, with the virus infection than with the vaccine. And so the risk associated with the vaccine is actually lower than it is if people were to get the infection. I think that's a really important message that we continue to try and uh, get to the public because people are, you know, naturally worried. Um, but the, the effect of getting COVID is, is much more significant than from the vaccine. Controversial na Sinopharm. Kung saan tinurukan si Presidente. Kung saan nagpaturok din ang inyong lingkod. Aba, pinaproba na po ng World Health Organization. Binigyan ng green light. Ang ibig sabihin ng green light, berding liwanag, kung baka sa traffic, go! Ituloy mo niyan, parang Christopher Go. Go! Go! go. Sabi niya, green light sa China's Sinopharm for emergency use. Kaya pwede na itong i-roll out globally. Kaya ngayong hapon, ibig sabihin, kahapon siguro ito, o ng isang araw, eh, yung World Health Organization, pumayag na. Yung Sinopharm, yung galing ito sa China, at ito ang pang-anim na bakuna na nakatanggap ng validation. Anong ibig sabihin ng validation? Ibig sabihin, binibigyan na kayo ng assurance na ito ay safe, ligtas, effective, epikit, ano? epektibo, at merong kalidad, may quality. Ano pa ang sinabi ng WHO? Ang Director General na si Tedros Ghebreyesus. Jesus. Ang hirap ng pangalan nito ni Director General Tedrosa. Sabi niya, yun daw Sinopharm. The job, no, rather, in-announce niya dun sa isang programa, webinar, yung twice weekly webinar. Sinabi niya, na itong Sinopharm, na lumika nito ay Beijing Bio Institute ng Biological Products Limited. Ito yung isang subsidiary ng China's China National Bio, Bio, Biotech Group. Sabi niya, the addition of this vaccine, ang pagdagdag daw nitong Sinopharm sa mga lista ng mga bakuna, ay eh meron daw itong potensyal na maaaring mapabilis na mabibigyan yung mga nangangailangan, lalong-lalo na daw yung mga nanganganib, yung mga health workers natin, pagbigay sila ng protection. Pag nabakunahan mo ito, kaya sabi ni Director General ng WHO, nagmumungkahi siya at nangihikahi siya dyan sa mga manufacturer na mag-participate kayo, sumali kayo dyan sa COVAX facility para i-contribute nyo yung mga kakayahan nyo, yung mga galing nyo dun sa pagdidistribute ng baku. Approaches to vaccine development to prime the body's immune response to COVID-19 include using weakened viruses or viral proteins or using specific viral genetic code, either DNA or RNA directly, or creating viral vectors with specific viral genetic code. A COVID-19 adenoviral vector vaccine is an adenovirus vector based on a common cold that has been modified and inserted with the genetic material for the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. Production starts with assembly of its genetic code. 
The adenovirus vector is engineered from adenovirus DNA by removing essential genes to stop it being able to replicate so it can only act as a carrier and not cause disease. Adding the coronavirus spike protein DNA creates the full genetic sequence for the adenoviral vector vaccine. The genetic code is introduced into a producer cell where it is transcribed and translated to form the COVID-19 adenoviral vector vaccine. The human cell line is engineered to contain the missing adenovirus genes, so that when the vector vaccine is introduced, it can infect the cells and use the cell machinery and missing viral genes to be able to replicate, producing identical copies. Vaccine molecules are also replicated with the division of the cells and the process continues until the right concentration is reached. The addition of a chemical lyses the cells, bursting them open, and the vector vaccine is harvested, ready to be further tested, filtered and purified before being filled into vials. Sputnik V is the first registered vaccine against COVID-19 in the world. It's a human vaccine based on a human adenovirus vector. So how does Sputnik V work? Protein coding genes from the spike of coronavirus are inserted into two human adenoviral vectors. Vectors are viruses which are genetically modified so they cannot replicate. They are safe for the body. Since vectors carry only protein-coding genes from the spike of coronavirus, it is impossible to get infected. During the first vaccination, an AD26 vector makes its way into a cell and the development of immunity begins. The second vaccination with vector AD5 takes place after 21 days. It boosts the immune response and provides long-lasting immunity. Sputnik V is based on a human adenovirus vector platform that has been studied over the decades and proven to be safe. Vaccines based on human adenovirus vectors have clear advantages over other technologies that are much less studied. All trials show the effectiveness of the vaccine and no serious side effects. The Sputnik V vaccine demonstrated more than 91.4% efficacy. Sign up for updates and follow Sputnik V on social media. Sputnik V. Stay tuned.